Yeah. All right. You good? Yep. Okay. So um, we're going to work on a Godoy choke, which is uh, basically a, a loop choke from a front headlock type position. So you can get to it from, you know, from a setup guard or a butterfly or collar drags or even just if you wind up in a front headlock type position. So what you want to do is to grab just a collar grip. It doesn't have to be deep. You want it about knuckles at his collarbone. Right, you want room to actually pull this across. You don't want it super loose. Certainly don't want it incredibly tight. A good grip. It's a little deceptive because this doesn't feel nearly as threatening as someone grabbing a good deep grip. So work front headlock, work his head down. Shoulder pressure into the base of his neck, not in his back. We want to keep his weight down. So a lot of times from this position, the guy will be messing with your hands, which is perfectly fine. We don't really care about it. All we're looking to do is to place our head into this pocket here. Sometimes we have to cup the tricep low, not high, in order to open them up a little bit. So we're gonna pressure down and move him back. Our head is gonna come into this pocket. We're gonna weave our arm down to his ankle, not pulling his leg, but to weave it out, like we're trying to push it this way. All we're looking to do is to work his head down to his hip so we can collapse him onto this hip over here. So front headlock, him out, my head goes into the hole. Bring his body, his head, we'll loosen that up some. With us, and figure this down and pull. So he starts to collapse over his hip. We step over the leg and we're gonna expose our back to the mat and pull this elbow with us this way. Collect, extend away, finish our choke by pulling down. Good? Somewhat full speed. Sometimes when we grab our collar, when we go front headlock, the second we start trying to stretch him out, he's going to try to roll with us. And that's completely fine. So as I snap, I bring him down, he rolls. I'm going to come with him. I keep my grip. This arm is going to stay between his body. And once we're here, this arm is starting to fish between his bicep and the back of his neck. Feet in behind his head as he comes up to his side. I build up to my hips, punch my arm through to the mat, and if need be, I can use a knee or a shin on the back of his head to help the choke out. 